Hi there. This is a short tutorial on how to create a gene table using the UCSC Genome Browser. This may be useful for you if you have a patient that has a microarray abnormality and you'd like to create a gene table in order to review the genes associated with that abnormality. The first thing is to go to genome.ucsc.edu. From there, in the top left corner, you will click on the Genomes link. On this particular page, make sure you identify the appropriate assembly that's on your patient's microarray. If you notice, there are four assemblies that you can choose from. Most of the newer microarrays will use the February 2009 assembly. However, some of the older ones may use the March 2006 assembly. So just make sure you pay attention to what's on the report and choose the appropriate assembly. Another important thing to note is making sure you type in the position or search term appropriately. Typically what you do is you type in CHR for chromosome and then the chromosome number and then a colon followed by the start position and then a dash and then a stop position. Once you have your terms in appropriately then you click on the submit button and it should bring you to a page that looks like this. Now your page may actually look a little different from this. My page uh, is uh, created based on saved settings that I have used previously. Yours may have a lot more information located in this white box here. Again, this is where your position for what your search terms were. This is the chromosome showing the chromosome band location that's affected. If you look at this red box, this is what corresponds to your patient's microarray abnormality. A few other things to look at are the scale, just to show you how big of an area you're looking at, followed by the chromosomal base pair position, followed by the chromosomal band number, and then down here is all the genes. Now, if you scroll down, you will see that there are probably a lot of uh, these tracks, they are called, that are open. And I would recommend closing all of them except for base position, and I would put that in the dense position and then chromosome band and I would pack that and then the RefSeq genes I would also pack that. Anything else that's open would look white like this and then may have some kind of term there. I would recommend just using the drop down menu and hiding it similar to this one. Then you can go over to the refresh button and hit refresh. Page should hopefully look like this. Across the top you would then want to click on the tables tab. All of these on this top row here should be the same. Next under group use the drop down menu and choose gene and gene prediction tracks and then under track you want to choose RefSeq genes. If you go down below one line to table and then you want to choose ref gene and then under region you want to make sure that you choose the position. And then finally under output format you want to choose selected fields from primary and related tables. Once you are done you can click on get output. So there will be two tables. In the top table you want to click on the name to box and if you scroll down to the bottom table you want to click on the RefSeq summary box. Once you do that click on the allow section from check tables and then you will then see a third table or a third box that will show up and click here on summary. Once you're done with that then click get output. This is now where you have all of the genes listed on the left and then the summary of each of those listed on the right. I just want to point out that you will see that there may be multiple entries for some genes. They are listed there for each isoform uh, but the information in the summary is exactly the same for each. Then I would recommend going up to the top, clicking on Edit, and then clicking on Select All, and that will highlight all of these genes. And then you go back up to Edit and choose Copy, and then that will copy all the genes. The next step will then be to paste this into a spreadsheet. I would recommend going to Box A1, and then going up to Edit, and then paste special. You don't just want to copy and paste, it's important to choose paste special. And you want to choose text. 
and then click OK in your spreadsheet it will break up the, and put all the gene names in, in column A and then all the summaries for those in column B. At this point it's easy to clean it up a little bit. What you can do is you can change the heading for column A and I usually just put name there and then for column B I usually put summary there. And here's where you can then go in and you can delete all of these extra copies or entries of these genes. So if you just right click on the number like right here, right click on that and then you can go down to delete and then that will delete that row. And then you can scroll down through the whole list and delete all the extra copies that you have. So again I've cleaned it up to put the name for column A, summary for column B, and as you can see those extra entries are now gone. I like to put this in landscape format so if you go up to file and then page setup if you click page and then click landscape and then OK and then what I usually like to do then is take column B and make column B then the whole width of this to that page break so if you basically grab it right about here and then drag it to the right you can drag it all the way out to there and then to make it look nicer I like to wrap the text and so if you right click up in this section and then go down to format cells in this box choose alignment and then choose wrap text and then click OK and then once you do that your text will now be nicely wrapped uh, you then go to column A right click up here go down to format cells and under this box again go to alignment and I usually like to put this in a center and center format. Click OK. So you can see now that your gene names are nicely centered and your summaries are also nicely wrapped. In order to print this and make it look nice, I recommend clicking on File and then Page Setup and then going to Sheet and then Check Grid Lines and that means then when it prints it it will put the grid lines between all the boxes and click OK and this should make it easier for you to review the genes as well as their summaries hope this was helpful thank you